Hello and welcome to Voice Pro Setup Guide. Let's create a new project. Let's name it Voice Pro Test and select a folder where we want to create a new project. I would select Rotov Disk F. Then create a project. Once project has been created, let's open the package manager and find voice pro in previously bought uh, list of assets. Let's type it voice pro. And let's download it. Okay, then once it downloaded, let's import it. Everything has uh, have to be checked and then click on import. When uh, an asset successfully imported, we will see two uh, pop-ups indicating the Microphone Pro SAP asset of Voice Pro and the main Voice Pro panel. Let's uh, provide a PAN2 network provider. It should add uh, defiance into the project settings. Let's check does it edit. seems no. Uh, to do that we have to select unknown network provider and then select PAN2 network provider again. Then it will add required defines uh, into the project settings. Then, since we want to use PAN2 network provider, we have to open the package manager again and find PAN2. Let's download it. Okay, now we could import it. Okay, once PAN2 successfully imported, we will see the PAN wizard. Uh, if you know app ID, you could uh, copy it and insert here. Let's do that for now. I have already created a new test project, so I want to copy and copy uh, app ID and insert it in Pantu Wizard, and then click on Setup Project. This is a default settings which need to be done. For test purposes I want to add uh, EU dev region uh, to make sure that uh, when we will connect to room everything will be connected to exactly same room. Now we could open the demo scene of Voice Pro.
No, we could test it. As we can see, the connection state is joined to game room. So uh, we want to test it uh, only in one client. So I want to enable debug echo and click on microphone button. Now I could see that me is connected to game server and I can hear myself. Make sure that you unchecked mute audio checkbox. Hello, hello. Now I hear now I hear myself myself. Okay, let's create okay. a build for web. We need to click on file, then build settings, select uh, WebGL platform. If you did install it, you could install it via Unity Hub. Let me do that now. Once download has been finished, we can continue. It does not enable model in runtime, so we have to reload Unity project. Okay, now we could switch on WebGL platform. Let's do it now. Let's check that plugin has been successfully added, defined into the product settings. As we could see, it is completely fine. So we could now build a project. Let's add current scene into the scenes in build. And yes, we need to disable development build. And also we could disable compression and enable exceptions to full without stack trace. It would be much better to understand if something will be wrong. So now we could build it. Let's wait now for the build. For test purposes I will upload a build into FTP server which already configured to use secure SSL certificate and my build will be available on the HTTPS connection and scheme. So I would open the FileZilla and connect to my FTP. Now I could upload it to write server. I would name it voice pro test so I will upload my newly created build into this folder in FTP. Okay, now build has been ready to upload. 
copy everything into FTP folder. I'll copy path into web link. Okay, now you could open the web browser and open a link. I would connect from Unity and web browser and then I'll open two tabs from different browsers and let's play in unity I would also open a page into Microsoft Edge here we go to make sure that everything is working fine okay Let's grant an access to microphone and we have to refresh two times to get a valid name of a microphone device. Now we could say anything into the chat. Let's do same on Edge browser side. As we can see, we already joined it on three pages, and let's say something. Hi, hi. hi. Do you hear? Do you me? hear me? As we could As see, we, could see uh, we hear uh, we, we hear, hear everything everything in, in one one browser tab browser and tab and, and in the editor. editor. Let's mute one. Let's, let's mute, mute one. one. <coughs> and mute here and now and we could, now see, we could that see that everything is working, everything fine. Is working fine let's double check it also uh, when we say anything in firefox browser hello hello, hello. Do you hear me, Do you hear me? me? yes i hear yes, you yes i hear you okay okay So everything is working fine. Let's close it now and continue configuring in Unity project. Let's disable play mode and open the Voice Pro welcome window. Uh, here we could find uh, locate Voice Pro settings, in which we could click on. It will point us into the project global config file which we could configure here it is here we could see some checkboxes which we could configure the voice detection enable checkbox will enable feature which will detect do you say something or not it is based on voice level of uh, microphone and if threshold value is less than average incoming voice into microphone level then it will record every sample it here by default it is disabled because it's a feature which cost fps 
especially on WebGL. The reliable transmission checkbox is the feature which will enable so every network packet will be reliable and it will make sure that every packet will be delivered to the server and end clients. The use internal implementation of network checkbox is enabled by default uh, because we provide connection to one to server uh, from our code so it will automatically join lobby and join room by name so if you use the voice pro only and do not write multiplayer by using pan2 multiplayer you could leave it as it is if you use custom code for connection to the pan2 server you have to disable it the compression of transfer data enabled checkbox is enabled by default because it will compress data which is transferring all the network and will decrease amount of bytes it's sending so it will decrease traffic of a network the echo cancellation feature is disabled by default but you could enable it this is a c-sharp implementation of a echo cancellation feature which is open source and wrap it into unity code the echo cancellation uh, features like AC, the noise and AGC is enabled or disabled by default and just increase quality of echo cancellation. The speaker config. This is a configuration of audio source which will be applied on a speaker. A special, bl a special blend uh, feature is used for using into mobile and standalone platforms by default the special blend feature doesn't work in webgl and cannot be used there however it will work well on other platforms than webgl currently we're working on a new solution which you could use for special blend into webgl However, for now it's not possible to use in WebGL yet. The output audio mixer group is a feature which is provided by Unity to change voice which will come from speaker. By default it's empty and could be configured by any audio mixer. The max inactive time. This is a time till speaker will be active by default it one 120 seconds so after that time it will remove speaker from active state and will be destroyed if nothing come from that client thanks for watching